Word players, what is Gucci in the booty? I am Wolfgang, one fourth of Team Starwin, and we are back with another dual video. Uh, I just seen apparently eat it in like his hand. He's running a Final Fantasy Nine deck. It's a Fire Water deck, I believe. Uh, and Vince, I'm not 100% what Vince is running. 100% sure. Uh, I see his hand. He's got Fire Earth. Um, I see Jesse and Cloud, so it looks like he's running a Fire Earth Final Fantasy 7 deck, but I really, I'm not 100% sure what he's running. So I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. Um, and with that being said, let's see how this game goes. Um, then starts off pretty good, pretty strong with a two drop. And he returns with his own two drop backup. Um, and it's an Ico too, which I've mentioned before. I was I severely slept on, and now um, in the midst of getting three because I think that card is super dope, super phenomenal. The way you can use it in the middle of a combo is just super dope. But um, good to start off strong with two two drop backups. Like that's how I love to start off. I put nine, ten two drops in just to higher my chances of having it that first turn two drop when I play. Um, and then he curves out beautifully with the uh, three drop searcher. So if you go first, having your three drop searcher is on your turn two sensational. Is like the go is my go to play. What I love to do. Um, but if you go second, it's not good because after you do your search, you end up with six cards in your hand. And it sucks because you're tapped out with six in hand. Um, but and unfortunately i always tend to go second like i like to draw that extra those extra two cards so if i have like a jesse in my hand because my cards are my uh the colors i play normally is fire water uh whoa earth water so if i have jesse in my hand and i go second i'm just like dude sucks i wish you can look at your hand and then decide who goes first or second like i open my hand oh i got jesse okay i'll go first i got the two drop in jesse yep definitely going first um but whatever so he plays Artie for two and gets his quick little reset two cards you didn't need i love that card you guys know my one of my favorite two drop uh water backups it's so good in my opinion but let's see what vince does look at that foil cloud by the way do you guys see that bro oof i think i just got warm like dude that card is very sexy I just I, I don't I love foils like I'm a rare hunter like I, I, I started off with TCGs playing Yu-Gi-Oh and you know give me the give me the the super rares the ultra rares ultimate rares like that uh, I just love 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 foils and so every time I, I play a TCG I gotta have a deck full of foils I love to have a deck full of foils but okay so E he pays one uh, he taps two to uh play the yuna then he discards one to, to play Famfrit to kill tifa off of his board so that was a nice play i'm not mad at that play he got his mana up and he's got um a forward off the board so he's not doing so bad he's doing pretty good and vince decides to tap two to play cosmo and looks like he has too many in hand now and he Oh wow, he pitches Robon and Palum. Robon and Palum to play Tella. Who is foil and beautiful by the way. But Robon and Pal those are some powerful cards to play for Tella. Oof, that was um uh, That was a, that's a bold move in my opinion. Uh very bold. And Vince taps three, pitches one to play um to play Steiner. And searches out Garnet, which is interesting because you know me, I the tempo I would have done the tempo play there. Especially my opponent has no forwards on the field, I would have searched out this Adane, uh, pitched one, plays a Dane, draw one. But you know, maybe he has he's got ideas, plays in mind. We can't see what's in his hand, so it's actually possible that he does have a Zidane. Um, and he plays. You know what? I, okay, I gotta keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I gotta start giving my people the benefit of the doubt. Um, um, because the, that's just the play. That's the go-to play right there. You play, you play Steiner. You either search Zidane, or if you already have Zidane, you search something else. So, got to give the people a benefit of doubt. You play the Zidane. You pitch one, play Zidane, draw one. Zidane is essentially a free summon in that in that point. 
but let's see what e, uh, Vince does in return. He taps four to play Tifa once again. He wants that Tifa on the board, okay? And honestly, it's stronger than both. He's Both of those forwards are only at seven, so he's not doing terrible. Tifa on the board being the strongest. And he taps two to play Levy, okay. So he's going for the he's going for the aggressive play right now. He he done fan freighted the first Tifa. He levied that Tifa back to Vince's hand. Unless Vince has a response, which I don't. Oh nope, he doesn't have one. And he's gonna go in for those two points of damage. Hits a Mystic. Oh, that's that glare is serious. And a Luca. Sorry about the glare, guys. Um. So let's see what Vince does. Vince does have four backups and a live Tella. So Tella in my it's I have a love hate relationship with Tella. Like it's it's good. Like I like that you can just use itself to crack off deal nine thousand to a creature. Like that's super dope. Um, but the fact that it costs four, it just it kills me. It really kills me because like for instance, I play Earth and Earth doesn't have a lot of Destro or anything that does damage damage for that matter we just got Atomos in the most recent set so i play robon right and robon is dope it has ex burst and it deals damage um oh man he ta he discards one to play a, Le a leviathan again another leviathan so he's just going all out aggro just aggressive right now he's trying to get those points of damage in and he decided oh okay so this is where Tella comes good. He he uses Tella to he cracks off his Tella to kill his own Zack to bring a cloud to the board. So although um, he doesn't have a blocker as he once did, he does have a forward on the board that he can use next turn to swing if um, E swings with both creatures. And he gives hits a hits a um, a golem, gives the extra two to cloud, and he does swing with both creatures. So. Uh, Vince does have an attacker next to him. But as I was saying with Tella is that uh, Robon it does something. has EX burst and it does something immediately when it hits the board I run it right now as a three of but I normally I run it as a two of I'm just having fun with this mono earth deck um, But I run it as a three of Tella it doesn't do anything immediately when it hits the board it comes down You have to wait a turn and then and then you lose it and then it, and then it leaves when you want to use its ability So you don't get much CP out of it. So it's just it's, it's effect is nice it's cool but ah uh, it costing four just really really kills it for me it does have its uses though it does have its uses also it's foil so why not put it in the deck <laughs> um but e taps three drops a bahamut to play amaranth and it looks like although he's not staring at the best of fields right now in the greatest position he's rubbing his hands he got something up his sleeves he got something in mind and he swings with the brave cloud no pun intended. Very brave cloud. And E does not call his bluff. He lets the attack go through. Can't be mad at that. Although next, if, if Amaran survives, he will be able to throw dynamites at any of in any and all of uh Vince's forwards. So let's see what happens. Vince is doing some thinking right now. And as he does that, I'm going to take this moment to hydrate. That H2O boy's got to have it. Stay hydrated out there, people. Um, But let's see. Okay, so he has a golem. I think that might have been his plan was if he was to, anybody was to block he would have golem because it would have put him at 10k so he dumps his angan and taps two to play to play tifa okay and getting that third that's that that's the oh no it's not the third one that tifa was sent back to his hand yeah it's still the second tifa okay never mind Um, and is he going to play another forward? He has how many in hand? It looks like he has either two 
three in hand? Yep, he has three in hand. So if he was to summon, oh, nope, okay, so he just decides to pass turn. He could have summoned the VB to take out a forward, but just decides to pass turn, keep the Cosmo alive to potentially block and play Golem to increase one of his forwards by uh, 4,000. So let's just see how this all plays out. With E playing aggro right now, I wouldn't be surprised if he just cracked off like Amaranth himself or something. I don't know. This guy, he's a he's a live wire at this moment. He's just playing super aggro with this deck. So let's see what E does. He's doing some thinking. I see a Kina in his hand. Or Quina. How do you guys pronounce it? Quina or Kina? I say Kina. Q-U-I-N-A, right? I think that's how it's spelled. Oh, I see a Vivi. What? would he do oh, while well, he's going through his oh I see another VV too he's stressing right now huh okay so he decides to just wait he decides to attack with Steiner and yeah he calls his bluff Steiner dies interesting move he must have another stein oh, okay yeah he does have another stein in his hand i can see it i was about to say that was just a that was a wild swing there so let's see what he does now so he taps the unit discards vv to play vv on the tifa okay and Vince has one, two, three, four, five in hand. So VB is doing 9k to the um to the Tifa. And ooh, okay. So Vince uses Tifa's ability to do six thousand and dull for it, and he decides to dull Amaranth. And ooh, okay. So he returns fire. Activating Amaranth's ability, targeting the cloud to kill the cloud. Not a bad exchange right there. Not a bad exchange. Now does, does Vince have a response? Is he going to do something else? Golem? Golem. How is he playing go? Oh, wait. Oh. He's activating cloud. Yep. He's oh look at that foil cloud. Beautiful foil cloud. He activates cloud to do 4,000 to the board. Which will in turn. Oh my god, so much just happened right now. E summons VV. Targeting Tifa. And then wait. Tifa lives though. He summons VV targeting Tifa. He activates Tifa targeting Amaranth. He activates Amaranth targeting Cloud. He activates Cloud to, to wipe the whole board. That was just bananas. That was so crazy. But Tifa should have lived because by the everything by the time everything resolved, Vince only had two cards in hand. So VV should have only dealt six thousand to Tifa. Um, so Tifa should have lived. Slight little misplay, um, but both players didn't notice, so the game goes on, um, and. Vince summons his own VV to take out the Zidane. And that was just, that was a crazy exchange of events. That was nuts. Um, oh, but look, wait, can we just take a time out for a second to look at Vince's hand and look at all those foils, the foil Belias, the foil Phoenix, the foil Zach. Oh, dude, I love, love, love foils. It's just, it's a beautiful sight. And the cards, when you put them on the board, it's crisp and clean. It make that nice snapping noise. And it's just, dude, foils, man. Foils, foils. And you know, I'm, I'm just now realizing, I see now why people want to be able to see what's in their hand. Or uh, what's, you know, as you're watching the video, to be able to see the player's hands. It's so you can look at what foils they have. And I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but it's a genius idea the foils you want to see the foils but um all joking aside 
uh, E decide, plays another Steiner and plays another Zidane. So this board state is looking really deja vu -y. Is that a word? Deja vu -y? It is now. And okay, so E taps three and discards a Phoenix. Vince taps three, discards Phoenix to play Delita. Five drop Delita. And that card, you know, it's crazy because when that card first came out, my, me and my whole team, we was just like, yo, that card's crazy. It's mad broken. Best card in the game. It's bonkers. Emergency ban. It's out of control. But like, as you play the game and as you get it used against you, as you use it, you learn that it's really not that bad. It's not as bad as it reads. Like it reads crazily broken, crazy. But it's just, it's very easy to get around. Like Tella kills it. Anything that breaks itself, it kills it. Tella, um, Robon, which doesn't break itself, but ha you know, if you play more than one Robon, it's not bad that it goes away. Um, because after Robon comes to the board, it doesn't do anything else. So like, it's just very easy to get around. <laughs> he summons Vivi to kill Vivi. A lot of Vivi on Vivi crime going on right now. Um, but yeah, uh, if you can, if when it swings, Zalera, if it's tapped, kills it. Mateus, like it's just so easy to kill. So easy to kill. Things that don't target. So it's not as bad as it reads. Um, it's still a very good card. It's just not as bad. But so he kills his VB and passes turn. So Vince right now is he has a, a solid blocker. So he's not in the worst of predicaments. He's not in a terrible situation, um, but he's also not, it's an uphill battle right now for Vince. He's only got one reward on E. He's got four on him. Um, so, okay, and he plays the, look at the, he, okay, I'm, I'm getting excited, but he plays Black Waltz, um, which E has, what, three in hand? Yep, he, he can only kill the VB. The Black Waltz is foil, so, I think as long, if it's foil, it should deal an extra thousand point of damage, but that's just my opinion. But who am I, you know? I'm just a nobody. Um, so let's see what E does in response. His turn comes, he taps two and plays, plays his own Tella. Tell her, tell her, tell her, man. That card, it just caught, it costs four. Why do you have the cost four? If you was a three and did eight, you know, I would, I would, I would accept that. I would take that. If you, if you was a three drop and did 8,000 damage, because you can be boosted with things like Palom or even Summoner. So, that four cost is just, it's asking a lot. Okay, you're asking a bit much there, buddy. But all right, so it's Vince's turn. Let's see what he decides to do. Taps one. Taps two, taps three. He decides to leave the Cosmo untapped, which is very smart. Um, and he ditches LeBru to play Zach. And somebody actually uh, pointed this out to me. I didn't really notice it before, but the foil five drop Zach it looks like he's standing in front of Mako, like with the, it has like this greenish type tint. Um, so it looks really awesome. The foil version looks like he's standing in front of Mako. But uh, he decides to crack off his Tella and to, to target the Delita, killing Delita. But Vince responds, tapping, oh, this is smart. He taps his Cosmos, making it a fire and discards Krill. So it's, it's an overpay, but he needed a fire so he can play uh, Belias to increase Delita's attack by a thousand. But he responds by summoning Vivi, two drop Vivi, to um, use his ability to deal an extra five to the, to the Delita, which is what I was saying. If you kill yourself, to, if you have to kill yourself to use your ability, targeting Delita isn't, isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all forget not that bad it's not bad because you was gonna die regardless the, the, the card was gonna go away regardless but um yeah so he plays mog draws one because i goes on the board and passes turn let's see what vince does he's got some thinking to do his big player card is gone but he does have um zach on the board so 
Zack replaces itself with the cloud, so he's not doing bad. Oh, okay, he has to swing with the Zack. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And he, ta oh, okay, so he taps. Okay, so he taps his backups and he plays the cloud, which makes Zack absolutely useless. Now I see why he swung with it. He wanted to see if he can get a Zack. No, Zack wouldn't come to the board. It would have just killed the creature. But that makes Zack pretty much uh, just an 8,000 power five drop uh, card at this point. Since Cloud is already on the board, Zack's ability is absolutely useless. But let's see what he does. He taps two. Oh, he uses Mog's ability. Well, it makes it makes Zack live again. But he uses Mog's ability to send uh, his Cloud back to Vince's hand, and now he can swing in for some damage. And Vince, if Vince wants to play anything, Vince is tapped out completely. Zack's tapped, all his backups are tapped. So if he wants to play anything, he'd have to play something from hand. And he's doing some thinking right now. Does he want to do that? I see that he has two Phoenixes in hand. So he could potentially play Phoenix. And he discarded a Phoenix earlier. So that would suck if he had to get rid of both of his Phoenixes. There goes the that would be the the crow combo the crow phoenix combo would be down and the down and out would not be able to do it anymore so it looks like he's looking in the grave for targets of his phoenix he could get um he could get mystic but it cost him his backups so let's see what he decides to do look at that foil phoenix oof Oh, I need that in my life. Look at the way that thing blings. And he pitches the Phoenix. Oh, he pitches Phoenix and Luca. Um, look at that foil krill, dude. Man. To get the foil krill. Okay. Okay, yep. And so Phoenix has 2,000 to the board. So when he blocks with krill, it'll kill. They'll kill each other, actually. Zidane and krill will both die. And he is, looks like he's tapping. Nope, he's thinking about tapping. Oh, he's swinging first. Swings with Steiner. Hitting a crow. Wow, that sucked. Hits a crow. Well, all his phoenixes are gone. The crow's in the grave. A crow is in the damage zone. So it, the crow phoenix combo is definitely not happening. But um, okay, so E taps two and plays summoner to get back. Um, who does he decide to target to get back for Hilda? Interesting. And he just shuffled his grave. Don't know why he did that. <laughs> I think he thought it was his deck, but Vince is in the danger zone right now. I call five points of damage the danger zone. So he's definitely in the danger zone. It's not looking good. He know he has a, he knows his opponent has a Brent Hilda in his hand. Um, luckily water oh what fire does have a way of getting haste nope he can he can play Brent Hilda so mm hmm very interesting let's see what happens here because it, if he can find a way to um, summon a forward um, play um, Bahamut and Brent Hilda his forward he has the game this next turn I don't know if he has enough resources to do all that but if he can do that he has the game next turn but let's see what Vince does. Vince taps two, plays VV. Wow, and swings with Zach. Okay, he's not. A, he is not afraid of that Bahamut. He's like, I don't care if you're gonna kill me. I'm swinging. Whatever. I might as well swing. Actually, yeah, yeah, that's right. If he's gonna die anyways, might as well swing. But at the same time, you really don't want a Bahamut and Zach when there's no cloud on already on the field because it'll just replace itself. So. And he's got that VV on the field, which I really like that VV. Started that VV, I really, really like it. Um, at first, I did not like the three drop VV, but I, now I'm looking for three. We had five, <laughs> two foils and a non foil, but um, we ended up trading them because we're like, dude, this card sucks. You can just respond to it. We hate it. But now we love the card and we're all looking for three. So, uh, never judge a. Never. I did it. We did the same thing with Palum. Like, oh, but anyways. So he did, he taps three and discards the Bahamut that he just got 
to play Amaranth. Um, and it looks like he was going to discard the Steiner, top one to discard Steiner, but he decided against it. And instead, he's just going to swing with Steiner. Let's see what Vince does in response. Anything? He, okay, so Vince uses Vivi's ability to deal 8,000 damage. He taps two, uses Vivi's ability to do 8,000 damage to um, the Steiner, killing it. And just passes his turn. E passes his turn. Um, and now he has one forward. He has one forward on the board. Um, and Vince has one Zach on the board. Two, four, four, four backups. So, um, Vince is in the danger zone. But he uh, he looks he's he can come back he can come back he's got a nice amount of cards in hand he's he's not in, he's not in the greatest position but you know he still serves a fighting chance he's got that blocker that will replace itself so you don't want to use Amaranth on it um, so he's not in the worst position right now okay so Vince now summons um, he taps forward to summon Cloud which um, makes Zach pretty much useless just a five drop 8,000 power once again and I'm assuming he didn't have any other forwards in his hand to play which sucks so he's just stuck with that Zach on the board and cloud Zach and cloud the dynamic duo that you never want to see on the board um, and let's see what he decides to do he taps three and Oh man! Taps three, dumps Black Waltz to play Sildra, sending both of those two cards back to his hand, and swinging direct with Amaranth. Now Vince is at six. He is he is redlining. He's on red alert right now. Back against the wall. He's got to come back from this. Um, and actually, he has a a, a, a mog back there. So Vince needs to play two forwards right now. Um, he also has he also has Ico. He has a live Ico and a live Mog. So the next turn is not looking good for Vince. He's he needs a couple of forwards on the board in order to be able to just survive, let alone come back. He's got to be able to survive. Um, so he dumps the Luca and um, Ridia. Nope, he decides not to dump the Rydia. Luca and Zach to play. Oh, and he taps three to put. Whoa, wait a minute. He over over. Oh, he overpaid. He dumped two to play. He must be nervous because he definitely overpaid to play the Zonde. He just paid seven for it. And he pitches two from hand to play Cloud. Um. Yeah, so it's not looking good for Vince. And it looks like, I think E is using Ico. Yep. E's using Ico. That's one, two, three, four to get back Sildra. Yep, get back the Sildra. Play the Sildra. Yep. And send those two back. Shake it off. Shake it off. I wish they shake it off. Shake it out. Oh, it looks like they just want to play it out for the camera. But yeah, that's it. Um, that was a good bad battle. Good intense battle. Vince overpaid at the end there. Um, I mean, he must have been nervous or something. But those that was a good exchange of things that happened in that game. Really intense. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my commentary. Subscribe if you have not yet. Vince saying peace to the cam. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you guys haven't. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.